On 18th July, we venerate St. Frederick, a saint of the Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholic Churches, who was the Bishop of Utrecht between 815 and 838 AD. Frederick was born around the year 780 in Friesland and was the grandson of the Frisian king Radboud. At a young age, he was taught at Utrecht by the clergy, including Bishop Rickfried. He was trained in piety and sacred learning among the clergy of the Church of Utrecht. Being ordained priest, he was charged by Bishop Rickfried with the care of instructing converts and in about 825, he was chosen to succeed him as Bishop of Utrecht. The new bishop at once began to establish order everywhere and sent St. Odulf and other zealous and virtuous laborers into the northern parts to dispel the paganism which still lurked there. St. Frederick worked unceasingly to eradicate this evil from the people by means of assiduous exhortations, tears, watching, prayer and fasting. He called an assembly of the principal people of the land and set forth the ways and means by which such an abomination could be eliminated for good. In this way, he put an end to many such marriages and brought back to God numberless persons who were truly contrite. Given his reach and reputation, St. Frederick was soon embroiled in the political matters of the times. St. Frederick found himself in the position to admonish the Empress Judith after her sons raised charges against her, citing immorality. While Frederick spoke to her with patience, prudence and charity, she became irate and worked to undermine him. Similarly, he raised the ire of many of those throughout the land who did not ascribe to the Christian faith, enforcing marriages and spreading the gospel. Through his labors, he found himself greatly disliked by many dangerous and powerful individuals. St. Frederick refused to be intimidated, however, certain in the power of the Lord. Thus, it was not very surprising that on July 18, 838, as St. Frederick stepped down from the altar after saying Mass and was on his way to the side chapel to make his thanksgiving, he was set upon by two assassins and was stabbed to death. He died only minutes later, Reciting Psalm 144, I will praise the Lord in the land of the living. It is unclear as to who had ordered the assassination, but historians agree it was due to his preaching and enforcing of the tenets of the faith. As such, the Church considers St. Frederick a holy martyr, having given his life to the faith and suffering death as a consequence. St. Frederick composed a prayer to the Blessed Trinity, which for many ages was used in the Netherlands. The reputation of his sanctity appears from a poem of Rabanus Morris, his contemporary, in praise of his virtues, and it spread far and wide. Frederick is the patron saint of the deaf. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us pray. O God, You gave splendor to your church by granting St. Frederick the victory of martyrdom. Grant that, as he imitated the Lord's fashion, so we may follow in his footsteps and attain everlasting joys. Amen.